On a recent podcast, we talked about how NativeScript has all these new features, but one of the coolest features, one of the things that I love about NativeScript all along is this right here. What you're looking at here is the list picker element, and we're looking at iOS specifically. And if this isn't enough functionality for you, you can extend it. Here's an iOS example. You can create a custom list picker. And underneath the hood, this is just a UI picker view. This is coming from iOS. But here's the cool part. We're controlling this entirely with JavaScript. Well, in, in this case, it's TypeScript, but you know what I mean. You're still working with real native iOS UI types like UI font here. You can set the system font size, update that, UI color, change the color without ever leaving the TypeScript world. And there's no recompilation necessary here like you would have with if you're developing an iOS app using Xcode, for example. Everything updates on the fly. So yeah, you get the native iOS experience, but you're in control with JavaScript. Oh, and by the way, that was the simulator, but you can also do the same thing, hooking up a real device by just scanning that QR code. It's all hooked up through StackBlitz. Really cool interactive. So here my system font size is 12. I'm going to change that to 34. Save this file It's going to rebuild. And there we go. We now have larger font. Don't like the color. Let's change it up a bit. Make that whatever color that's going to be. Well, it's a darker blue, but you get the idea. Super powerful stuff here. Check out the latest version of NativeScript. And this uh, article on customizing views uh, is actually linked down below in the description. You can do it right now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.